It's finally, finally here, and that is the Squarespace migration tool. So if you have a Squarespace 7 website and you want to have a Squarespace 7.1 website, you finally have a migration path instead of having to manually rebuild the entire site and then manually migrate all your content over. This tool allows you to basically take a Brine or Bedford template from Squarespace 7 and transform it into a 7.1 website with all the bells and whistles that 7.1 brings and you get to keep all your SEO, all your data, everything intact. It's taken a lot of years, but they finally got it. I'll be honest, it's not perfect. There are a few things that you'll need to tweak and you'll have to still manually check through the site to make sure that there's no errors, but it gives us a path. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And basically what I'm gonna go through is that first off, and this is super, super important, you need to have three versions of the website. So you wanna keep your live version, keep that, that's version one. Then you wanna duplicate it and have version two to practice. Then you wanna duplicate it again and have version three as your backup. So version two is what we're gonna focus on in this video. And basically this is your test run. If you go through and you like what you see, then you apply that to version one. But obviously we don't wanna go in, you know, all gung-ho on version one, make all of these updates that we can't change back and actually you hate it and you think the migration tool is terrible. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is how to migrate your Squarespace 7 website to Squarespace 7.1. Okay, so first off, we wanna see whether our site is even on Squarespace 7. So to do this, what we do is we go into website and pages and then we can see down here what our version is. So here we can see that we're in version 7.0 and we're on the Brine family. So this is the clay template. Now there's only two families that you can actually use the update tool with. It's Brine and I have the help article up here. So I'll just check and Bedford. So Brine or Bedford, if you're looking to upgrade and you want to bring all your data over, then make sure that you're on one of these. So Basically, if you're not, you can just switch the template. I'll show you that in a bit. And then make sure developer tools is off. And we're gonna go through all of this. So basically you wanna duplicate the site to make sure you have a backup and to also test it out. So make two duplicates. But again, we'll come on to all this. But this article, which I will link in the description is super useful. It's gonna take you through basically what we do in this video. So just a couple of things to note. It's a permanent update, so you can't go back. This is why we create the preview. It's probably going to look a little bit different after you update. The functionality does change between the templates on Squarespace 7 and the sort of Omni template that is Squarespace 7.1. And also, you're going to want to set a little bit of time aside to preview the changes. Now, I wouldn't do it the way Squarespace does it. The way they show you the preview is a little bit weird. So this is why we make two duplicates, and this basically allows you to preview the site properly once you've actually done the update. So anyway, let's get back to doing the actual update. So from here, once we've checked that we're on Brine or Bedford, what we need to do is first off, if you have it enabled, we wanna switch off developer mode. So to do that, we go into settings, developer tools, and then developer mode here. You just wanna to toggle it off nice and simple. Then we go back and then back into website, we want to hit design and then we're going to say update to version 7.1 and it's going to bring up this which is nice and exciting so before we do that though what we want to do is make our two duplicates so close this down and we're going to go back into our squarespace dashboard from here what we want to do is click the three dots and then duplicate the website hit duplicate again and that's going to bring up this so we just wait for the duplication to finish and then we do it once more. So click this, hit duplicate, duplicate again. Then we're gonna have three versions. So we're gonna have the live version, we're gonna have the backup version, and then we're gonna have a third version, which is our preview of the migration. So let's head into one of the three. Let's imagine this is the preview. So website, design, update to version 7.1, and then get started. We're gonna preview the site. It's gonna show us the changes. And because there's nothing on the line, this is just our preview, we'll hit publish. Publish the site and that's gonna move it over to 7.1. And we can do this safe in the knowledge that we still have our live site 
and we have our backup site. So we can just fiddle around with this, get it right, and then we can actually do it on the live site. So continue editing, and now we can see that our site is 7.1. And to confirm that, we look down here, it says version 7.1. You're going to notice the menu system is a little bit different and unfortunately they can't get the aesthetics exactly correct or exactly um, like an exact replication. But you can see here that it looks pretty similar and you've got way more creative freedom now that you're on the latest version. So go into edit and you can basically play around with it however you want. Go through, make sure everything is as it should be. If I was you, I'd go through and check all the URL slugs, I would also check all the SEO. So go to check your SEO titles, your SEO descriptions, uh, page titles, navigation titles, URL slugs. You'll have to go through all the blogs if you have a blog. Make sure that these have all come across correctly. You see, in this case, this hasn't. I'm not sure why it's done that, but again, that's something to look out for. Go onto the posts themselves. Make sure that everything is copied across correctly. All your assets have come across and you can check all your assets. If we go back, we can check them in the asset library here as well. So all of these, I think, should come over. Maybe it's just populating, but I would just check at least all of the assets have actually come across here. If not, you're going to have to manually add these back in, which isn't ideal. But the payoff that you get by being on the newest version is definitely worth that little bit of manual work. So as I say, Make sure you go in, check the back end, especially of the pages. So in all your blogs, you've got to check the excerpts, featured images, um, post URLs, categories, tags, status, everything like that. Make sure you go through it with a fine tooth comb. Stuff like this. So obviously each template has its quirks from version 7. We have a, a social folder. We just simply don't need that in version 7.1 so we can get rid of that you can go through all of these and you can say okay is this actually needed on squarespace 7.1 and basically play around get it correct and then you can just manually replicate that in the live site and then you can go live or you know if you think actually this looks terrible and i don't want to use it then at least you've saved yourself all the hassle of moving your 7 site over to 7.1, hating it and not being able to go back because it's a permanent change. So this is a good way of saying, do I like it? Do I want to move? If so, okay, I've practiced and now I'm going to make it perfect. Or I've seen how it looks and I hate it, I'm not going to update. So either way, make your duplicates, have a backup, have a practice, and then obviously have the live site. That is the way that I would do it. Obviously, there's a ton more nuance and I'm going to write an article on this and you've got the Squarespace help article. But in terms of actually migrating, it's as simple as going into website, design, update to 7.1. Prior to that, make your two copies, have a practice, have a fiddle around and then push live with the update if you're happy. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.